Well, what you're looking at here is the 2016 Audi SQ5. And this isn't a particularly interesting car because of, well, it's a 2016, and it is a very special blue. Uh, you might have known the Q5 TDI that I drove to El Paso a while ago. It was blue, but it wasn't this blue. Let me show you here on the sticker what we have. 2016 SQ5 3.0. 354 horsepower, 346 pound-feet of torque. This is a gas engine. Still has less torque than the TDI version. Sepang Blue. Black interior tech package, which now includes Bang & Olufsen. Fine Napa leather, which now includes, apparently, I believe, this Alcantara leather. I think I'm, that used to be Napa. I'm not too sure on the SQ5. And... Furthermore, there's the 20 inch, 21 inch wheels, black optic, which also includes this black trim rather than chrome and black roof rails, and supercharged badges, first aid kit, and we're at 62,625. Now the TDI I drove was $62,075. So these are very similar, except the Q5 TDI has more torque than this SQ5. Some people may prefer this one, some people may prefer the other one. I'm just showing you this for 2016. Changes are minimal. The only changes are, well basically there are no changes for the 2016. Unless you get the SQ5, which you can now get red front brake calipers. And on the interior you can get diamond stitched leather, which this car doesn't have those two things but it's unchanged for 2016 rather than 2015. But I'm sure you want to see this car completely. So let's just pop the hood. And there it is, supercharged gas V6. Smells great too. What's uh, cool for the Q5, all the Q5s I've seen have this strut brace that really really makes this car feel a lot more solid and planted than the A4, which this Q5 is actually based on. And I'm sure you want to know what it sounds like. So, I'm going to set the camera down as best as possible. Yeah, I call that awesome. Let's go for a drive. And let's take it around the block. I like the carbon fiber inlay better in this car than the piano black finish that was in the TDI. I'm at Audi of Greenville. This is their new location. I happen to be in town and I purchased a car from them a while ago uh, when they had a two-car showroom, basically, and now they've really grown. They even have four, a, uh, four R8s here today. Now, I don't thrash new cars, so you're not going to hear me doing crazy 360s, no burnouts, none of that. I'm just going to do a quick ride around the block, give you a chance to hear the car. And we have drive select, push that button for an individual, comfort, auto, dynamic. Hmm, it's got a nice sound to it. I can't go too quickly because otherwise my microphone on the dash there will fly off. And that will sound pretty bad, we don't want that. One important change for 2016 is actually the availability of new colors, and I think this is one of those colors. And to 
you can see the interior here is still the same, nothing's really different. We still have the panoramic roof. There we go with the buttons. So here we are, the new Audi Greenfield dealership with the new 2016 SQ5.